That's the problem to start every classroom. Just Good morning, check. Lynn. So my name is Lynn, and we are, it is, um, for me, it is a Monday, depending on when everyone is doing this class. So on Mondays, what I've decided to do during this, uh, during this time is go back to the fundamentals. And I kind of purposely chose this shirt that says Pilates is easy, and then on the sleeve it says, um, right because it's not easy and it is challenging and what i've been going through are the fundamentals and the principles of pilates on mondays and the reason that i want you guys to do that is so that you can fall in love even more so with your practice uh, just as i did it's why i became an instructor because I, I fell in love with it and it literally changed my life it changed how i thought about it moving through life it changed how i thought about exercise and still does to this day so we've done some for those of you that are just joining in on these monday classes uh we we have gone through two of them already so like i said there's uh, nine principles six foundations is what i should say so the uh nine principles one of them we already did with this which is breath work and then we also did Control. So I'm, I am going to go over those two principles, but today we're going to work on concentration. And of course, that's about being present. And I know you have nothing but time to be present, but let's really try to check in with that. So we're going to go over breath work, we're going to go over control, and we're going to go over concentration. So those are the first three. And then there is centering, precision, um, balanced muscle development. So it, we're fixing what the body has like a, for example, I have a hip issue and my goal is always to strengthen that side and lengthen it out. So that would be one of those rhythm flow, uh, full body movement, so whole body movement and relaxation. So we're gonna work on all of those today and we're gonna start with breath work and we're going to start standing on the mat. This is about a 40 minute class. I'm gonna start my timer now and we will take it standing. So working on your breath work, there are several types of breathing in Pilates, not just diaphragm breathing. So your diaphragm, so I'm gonna take it standing. You guys are going to be standing. So it's not just standard breathing. So Pilates breath is inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. And some of you guys heard me say that just Pilates, what he discovered is that most of us are only breathing your diaphragm. So your diaphragm inflates, if I get just a shape like that, it inflates and deflates on your inhale, exhale breath. So we're gonna work on that. So by getting that deep breath, so I want you to expand lateral breath means your rib cage goes out. So let's work on that right now. Taking your inhale breath through your nose, arms by your sides, draw those arms up, expanding your rib cage, inhale through your nose. Hold that in. Let's go a little bit deeper, maybe, with your inhale breath. Exhale. And I want you to feel that diaphragm inflate deeply. Inhale in. Exhale. Blow it out. Let's keep your hands at your sides and continue to work on that. I want you to kind of focus in. Are your ribs going externally? That's what I want them to do. So inhale in. In and up, exhale, blowing everything out. Two more, inhale, up, you can see my chest expand, right? Exhale, out. Last one, inhale, up, exhale, out. All right, second one is control, so we're gonna move on to squat position. I just put my hands at my waist. Show up, chin down, shoulders down, away from up here. Then I notice I was getting up in my shoulders. I want you to take it down into a squat with control, right? And I want you to feel everything pushing through those heels as you extend up, squeeze at the top. Down, push through those heels of your feet. I want you to feel, focus on that low glute. Focus on pulling in and up on your pelvic floor. So when I extend up, I just squeeze my kegel muscles and squeeze my low, low glute for four. So right now, 
if you can, focus on those knees, focus on those muscles. That's what I mean about concentration, focusing on your practice. Four. Get to the top. Three. And Let's go to a turnout second position seat. We're just going to do a standard warm up today. And I want you to simply lift up onto your toes, holding it again, concentrating. Five, four, three, two, drop those heels, but lift those toes up, hold it. Five, four, three, two, back up to releve. Releve meaning you lift it up on those toes. Five, four, three, two, rock it back. One more up, squeeze, hold. Again, where are you feeling this? I'm feeling this in my ankles, right? Five, four, three, two. All right, staying in your turnout. I'm gonna step just a little bit wider. Take it down into a plie. Focusing on where are you feeling? So I'm sore still. I worked out quite a bit on Saturday. So I'm still feeling it in my glutes. Holding it down, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stay down there on that one count for me. Lift up your heels, drop them down. You lift them up. Where are you feeling this? Keep feeling this in your inner thighs. Low glutes. Right? Pause. <laughs> you can make it a lot of places today. Four, and three, and two. Drop those heels down, but sink just a little bit deeper for me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Extend it up, squeeze at the top. We are going to take it into a roll down onto that mat. I'm sorry, I'm going to step to one side. Doesn't matter. Reach up. Again, get that lateral breath work. Reach up, 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 up. Ground down. Walk it on out. Plank start or plank start. Okay. Again, concentrate. In five and four and three and two. Coming onto your knees. So we're going to continue on the front work. We're going to do this and come onto all fours for me, please. Hands step underneath those shoulder blades. I want you to round it in and up. Push through that spine. Drop, take it down. Again, concentrating, isolating on that pelvic floor. From my pelvis, I can literally feel it. Basically, your female, you can feel that surface. Drop down, lift up, round down. Extension, so that diaphragm is opening. Two more. Some of you guys are probably like, I don't have a good mix anymore. <laughs> but if you did, you can feel your part right now. Last one. Okay. Moving on. So let's talk about it. And let's talk about that pelvic floor. And let's talk about feeling your muscles. So concentrating. Slide this. Draw my hands in front of my knees. I want you to round down, squeezing onto the front of your knees. Hold me there. This is your press. In five, in four, and two. Concentrate, pull in that pelvic floor. Lift up. Nice and slow today. Round down. Precision, precision. Pull. Five, four, three, two. Lift up. Last one. I want you to slowly pull that pelvis in, pulling in that low core. Begin to release both hands. Low, low, four, three, two. All right, all the way down on the mat. Draw those feet in just a little bit closer for me. Hands by your side. Once again, grab those abs for a moment by reaching your hands towards your feet. Draw your shoulders back up. Reaching your hands out. Drawing back up, two more. So we're trying to get length. 
And I want you guys to isolate muscles. Last one, reach those hands a little bit further for me and begin to feel your head and your spine up, chin to chest for me, reaching towards your feet. With control, lower everything down. So I'm pushing in that belly, reach leg, inhale, back down. Again, exhale breath, you need to support that neck of spine. When we do the sun reformer, what we are looking for is to round through that spine. We're also pushing in through that belly button. You should feel that belly flatten toward that mat. Up for three on that exhale breath. We're going down through that mat. Up for two. Last one. Hold it a little deeper. Extend a little further out with both hands. Chin to chest in five, in four, and three, and two. Round out. So I just felt all my ab muscles really control in and push in. So knees together, feet together, everything together. Let's tuck that pelvis in and do pelvic tilt and relax it down. So I'm going to over articulate so that you guys can see. Me. So look in this area, right? You see my pelvis tilt up and that kegel muscle pulls in. And then it releases, pulling it in and up. So literally like you're in a long line for the restroom, that's the best way to grab it. You're pulling it in, then you're relaxing it down. Four. So you're squeezing. You will feel that in a little bit in the low glute, but I'd like you to isolate, control that pelvis. Up for two. Last one. Once you are up and that pelvis is tilted, right? I want you to take a little tuck up. Minuscule movement, half down. So first in your bridge start series, start to off. Okay, you guys are moving, focusing on your pelvic floor, focusing on your ego muscle. You guys are still going to stay in this. You're going to go a little higher, and I'm going to talk about what's going on with my body. In four, up four, three, up four, two. Now let's go back to your original position. Tilt up, relax it down, tilt up, relax it down. One more, let's tilt that pelvis up. Come all the way up into a high bridge and hold it. Squeeze those inner thighs, come up a little bit higher in your hips. Five, four, three, two, slowly rounding down. So again, with control, one vertebrae at a time until you release. All right, so my glute just released, pelvic tilt, round nice and slow, up, 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 up. Again, with control, take you down. You guys are going to keep moving, keep going on with your bridge. I'm going to talk about what's going on with me. So what I noticed, because I have been teaching, even, even though I'm an instructor, obviously, uh, I, you know, sometimes you don't do your own practice as much as you should. So during this time, of course, I've been doing a ton of Pilates, practicing for you. Uh, you, know, you teach for yourself and you practice for your students, and that is what I'm doing. Keep moving with helps, please. And what I have noticed is that my pelvis is so much stronger, my kegel muscles are so much stronger. So, for example, when you're doing a jumping jack, you're not like, oh, oh, look at this. You know, you're not like having that whole thing that happens with females. Especially if you've had children or you hit a certain age. And I was experiencing that. I don't have kids of my own, but I have been experiencing that just like when you run or whatever, when you sneeze, it's gone. It's gone. And that's how it used to be. So that's why we're doing this. This is why we do bridge. This is why we work on your Kegel muscles so it can happen. I don't want you guys to think like, no, 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 no. It can happen. Trust me, it's happening to me. I'm so pleased. So that's, that's part of Pilates, right? Let's go with my All right, hold it up there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and good. So not to be TMI, but I thought it was important to share that. Yay! All right, let's go back. So let's go to the tabletop position. Hands back above those shoulders, knees in front of those hips. Draw your shoulders away from those ears. Let's raise it on up. Reach those hands a little bit deeper for me. I'm going to begin to pump those arms. So belly is down. That's how we build in. Not out in Pilates. Inhaling through that nose, exhaling through that mouth. Inhaling through that nose, 
This is tabletop position. So those knees are always going to be in front of my hips. Not back here. That was right into my back. Right? Toes are pointed. If those of you that take those other little classes, this is your 90. You can be up there. Or down low. You look at Joseph Pilates videos. He was actually here. That bothers some people's back. That's why we offer options. Inhaling. Exhaling. I'm going to be in standard position. Inhale. Slow it out. Focus on that belly, guys. Focus on the belly. We need to back if you can. How about we go for 40? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and thirty. Breathe. Slow it out. Breathe. Slow it out. Last 20. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Throw up just a little bit higher to the ten. To ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Three, two, draw those knees in. Let's open up those feet. Open up your hips. I'm just going to do diamond shape. Back two knees down, feet down. Knees together, bridge lift up and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Tap everything down on that one count. Let's extend one leg out, extend one leg up. Just going to do some leg work, but we're going to be in progression. So I just had to check myself. I can see myself in the ankle that my leg is too high because I started to bend it, right? Point that toe, pull in through your core. So my core just got nice and tight. Lower that leg down as strong point in that toe. Raise everything up. Lower down, raise everything up. So the best thing you can do for me is push that pelvis down, right? So it's melted into that butt. We have a neutral spine. So even though my tailbone is heavy, my spine is soft. In five and four, in three and two, we're going to float your hands, float your head up. We're going to keep it moving. Down, lift up. Down, lift up. Chin to chest. If you want to rest that head, you can. What I really care about right now, what's the position of your spine? Is it soft? Are your toes pointed? I'm just pointing my toes a little bit deeper. Five, four, three, two. Resting the head. Let's switch that position. Going into a flex. Again, nice and controlled. Concentrate on your movement. Flex both heels. The stronger flex that you have for me, the more you're going to feel this. Right? I'm talking about this exercise to someone. What I was explaining is they have a knee injury. Just yesterday. What I was saying is that the stronger that you make that quad, Keep moving, you guys. The stronger you make that quad. So your quad muscles, four muscles, in the front of your leg, right? And the stronger you make it, let's raise your head up to the chest. The more it's not going to pull on your patella. So your patella being your kneecap. So for those of you with knee issues, the stronger that that quad is, the less it's going to strain your knee. Okay? Four. Three. Two, let's walk both hands up, squeeze hold with that flex in that leg. Five, four, three, two, point it down. Body's in a pencil shape. Let's squeeze those inner thighs together. Squeeze everything. I want you to feel that pelvis. Concentrate on it. Begin to lengthen up that opposite leg and lower. Maybe lower. So again, when you're doing this correctly, it's hard. It's hard. I had someone once say in a class, she's mad at me. Because it can be frustrating when you first start a new anything, right? That you're like, I don't know what I'm doing, and I don't know where I'm supposed to be feeling this. So please give it time for those of you that are new to Pilates. But she's mad at me um, or frustrated because she said, you think this comes easy to me. I do not think it comes easy. I know it because I do it. This is what I do for a living. This is what other instructors do. Let's raise that head up. So be patient with your practice. That's why we're doing these workshops. 
so that you get, that you fall in love. I mean, wouldn't that be amazing to be in love, like truly like in love with an exercise, like I want to do this the rest of my life, that's what I do. Again, strong energy in that leg. Five, four, and three, and two. Switch to a flex. Lengthen out that leg. Lower down. Raise it up. Kind of last one. So I just had to flex both heels. You can almost flex it harder and lift up that heel, make it harder. So and that is most precise little movements, and we're going to talk about precision in the class coming up. That that precision, that little flex heel, that little movement change that we do in Pilates, if you haven't been doing Pilates that long, a slight movement change, head up, will change how you feel. Breathe, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. Chin to chest. Four, five. Getting you off your back in four. And three. And two. Walk it up. Grab on to the back of the leg or the back of the hamstring. Five, four, three, two. Switch to a point. Lower everything down. Lower your body down. So my body is in a pencil. And my toes are pointed. I want you to float your head up, reach your hands down the side of your pant legs. Lower everything down. Pushing your back in. This is imprinted spine. So that back is down. I have is not neutral. Neutral now, right? Reach and lengthen up. Two. Reach and lengthen up on that one count. Hold it a little bit deeper. Take your chest. And five, and four, and three. And two, extend your hands above those shoulder blades, but flex those heels. I said we're going to work on roll ups the other day. If you took my class, shoulders are drawn down. For those of you that can, take your inhale to prepare. Exhale, try to come seated. Lengthen out and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and good. We are going to take it standing. But so we'll take a quick stretch. So everyone should be on your knees. Let's stack that spine one vertebra at a time. Neutral, sticking that butt out. Again, pulling through that pelvis, pulling it in and out. Neutral, stick your butt out. Neck lengthens, one more. Neck lengthens. Okay, tuck those toes under for me, please. Holding your stretch on your extension. Pulling in that belly, stacking that spine, one vertebrae at a time. So, taking it out into parallel feet, half hip distance apart. I want you to extend your arms out, extend yourself down, fold into a squatted position. Five, and four, and three, and two. As you come up, hold that pelvis in for me. One more time, down into a squat and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. On that one count, I want you to pull and tilt your pelvis in. So what I just did is I squeezed in and up, like I had to use the restroom again. And then I want you to relax it, but you're staying down. In and up, tilt your pelvis in. Neutral, stick my butt up, right? Pull it in. This is control. Last two, control. Last one, take it all the way standing. Okay, today's class is about concentration. So let's concentrate on your form. So chest is up. I just placed my hands at my weight. Heels are together. The feet lifting up onto those tiptoes. And I want you to squeeze everything in and up and drop it back down. You feel like you're kind of rocking all over the place. I want you to find, this is why I'm talking about concentration. So for me, at the studio, I'm going to focus on our logo. Is that in front of me? Four. So find something maybe on the floor or in your house. And three. And two. And good. Hold it up there. Squeeze. Hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, take it all the way down. Okay, shaking out those legs. I want you to extend one leg out in front of you, flexing that heel, begin to raise it up. Again, I'm concentrating and I'm gonna go as high as I can. Breathing, breathing. Stop at your comfort level or maybe a little bit higher. Five, four, three, two, begin to lower it down with control. Five, four, three, two, nice and slow. Concentrate, concentrate. Tap that heel down, give that leg break for a second. You can see, I mean, I'm wavering. Raise it up, slow, 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 slow. Big flex in that heel though. Five, four, three, two, extend it down. Five, four, three, two, good. Last one, rest it. Extend it up in five, and four, and three, and two, and hold five counts from the feet. Five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two. Rest it out, shake it out. Opposite leg extends up. Again, isolating those muscles, concentrating on your form, beginning to raise it up and higher and higher and higher and higher. If you want to make this harder, close your eyes. Okay? Just try it for a second. Five, four, three, two, taking it down, raising it up. I didn't even tap it. Five, four, three, two, raise it up and hold. Five, four, three, Two, lower down, again with control. Down an inch, down an inch, down an inch, down an inch, down an inch. Last set, raising it up in five, and four, and three, and two, and holding it. A little bit deeper this time. Hold, 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 hold. So I'm better. Uh, for me, this is my right leg that's standing. Lower down five, four, three, two, and tap down. Off to the side. So opposite leg extends up, five, four, three, two, big flex, hold it, five, four, three, three, and five, four, three, two, let it hover, five, four, three, two, hold it, five, four, three, two, shaky, shaky, last one, five, four, three, Two, hold it. Five, four, three, two. Shake those legs out, other side. Last set on these, and we're gonna take it back to that big flex in that heel. Slowly begin to raise it up. And that other side. <laughs> sort of, right? You can always take your hands up. Five, two, five, four, three, two. Good. Five, up four, up three. Up two, up one, hold on that. <laughs> five, four, three, two, last one, let's knock this out. Five, four, three, two, holding it. Three, five, four, three, two. All right, parallel feet again. Take it down into your feet. Again, help tilting that pelvis in. So pelvis tucks, feel that? Go a little bit deeper, a little bit lower for me. Pelvis tilt. Relax that pelvis. Keep a muscle, pulls in. Hold it in. Go a little bit deeper in your spot. In five, in four, in three, and two. Release that down. Relax your stance. Reach those hands down onto the mat. Five, four, three, two. Take it all the way down onto the mat. Legs extended out in front of you. I just went out to the side of my mat just so you guys can see me. Let's take a spine stretch, reaching for your ankles or the back of your calves for me, please. Come on up, nice and tall. Extend down. Come up nice and tall. One more. Reach a little bit deeper. I went a little bit lower, five, four, Three, two, and good. Taking it up nice and tall. Okay, coming on to that mat for you. We're gonna move on to back series, back strengthener. Dial shape in those hands out in front of you. 
I want you to lift your elbows up, push yourself up. So my belly just lifted up. Lower everything down, diamond shape. Upper half is moving, push up. Take it down. Bring your hands in just a little bit closer if you want to make that challenging. Push up. Taking it down. Again, isolating those muscles, controlling your body. Last one. Second hand position. Hands in by your shoulder blade. Push up, swan press. Lower everything down. Everything lifts. Shoulders away from those ears. Capulet glides down your back. Push through the heels of those hands. Again, concentrate. Concentrate on what you're doing. Focus on that breath. Push through the heels of your hands in three. And two. And good. Go back to the diamond shape. You're going to rest that head. I'm going to isolate the bottom half of the body. Go head and down. I want you to point those toes. Lift the lower half of the body up. And back down. So my head is resting. Everything lifts. You should feel that pelvis push in to the mat. Push it up and land. Push it up and land. Push it up, land. Last set. Raise up. We're putting everything together. Hands in the diamond shape. Press up, upper and lower half of the body. More done. Again, you want to make it harder. The closer in that you are, the more challenging that's going to be on the upper body. Isolating those muscles. In five. And four. And three. And two. And hold it up there. Let's float those hands up. Take it into a diamond shape on your forehead. Five, four, three, two. Lower those hands down, but stay up. Lift it up. Lower the hands down. Lift it up. Three. And two. And good. Let's push your hips back. Come into child pose. Take it down. Five, four, three. Two, back down onto the mat. Second set. Hands by your sides. Again, those elbows are glued into my ribcage. Everything lifts and pushes up. Everything lowers down. Push up. I want you to really squeeze that glute. I want you to squeeze your inner thighs. And you should be feeling this on your lower back. Again, really concentrating on pushing through those heels of the hands. In five. And four. Up four. Three. Up four. Two. Last one. Release those hands up. And hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good enough for me. Push your hips back. Child's pose takes you down. Walking those hands out. Okay, on to all fours. Let's round it in and up in that spine. Neutral spine. Again, coming in and up. Neutral. Takes you down two more. Round it in and up. Last one. Let's work on some balance challenges for concentration. So extend that leg. Float it right up. Float that leg back out behind you, pointing on that toe. Raise the opposite arm up. If you want to be standing, instead, you cannot be on that knee. You can certainly do the standing, maybe raising up the knee. Head is up. I just changed my gaze to forward. Again, focus on that breath. Belly pulled in. Four, three, two. Replace that hand down. Draw your knee into your elbow. Nice and controlled. Extend out on a slow count. Lengthen it up nice and high. Two more, just like this. Pull it in. Extend out. Lengthen that hip. I want you to feel this in the front of your hip. Last set. Join it in. And then, and then, and then, big point in that toe position. 
So extend, lengthen out, 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 five, four, three, two, extend the knee down, opposite leg, opposite arm, gaze is up, please. Belly is pulled in. Focus on the breath. In and out. So your body is nice and strong. Maybe extend that hand a little bit further. Extend that leg longer. Pull that belly in. Five, four, three, two. Replacing that down. So all that knee in nice and control. Pull it in. Extend out. Lengthen. Inhale in. Control, control. Exhale, long. And that's fine. Hold it out there. Last one. Let's make it pretty, please. In. Hold it out there. Lengthen nice and tall. My chin is through four, five, four, three, two. Let's take it all the way down. Back into child's pose for me. Walk those hands out a little bit deeper. Five, four, three, two. Coming all the way seated. Take those legs out in front of you. Shake out those legs. Let's go to V feet for me. And I want you to reach into the center and between those feet. Come up nice and tall in your spine. Reach forward, so flex those heels. Tall the spine. Two more. Maybe a little bit deeper this time. A little bit further. Five, four. Three, two, good. Extend your hands back behind you. Let's switch to a point in the toes. And if you can, form and lift up your hips, hold, gaze goes all the way back. Five, four, three, two, control that down. Flex those heels, B feet again. Reaching forward, diamond shape with those hands. Extend forward, back. Extend forward, back. Two more. Last one, squeeze all the way. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and taking it all the way down onto the mat. I'm gonna keep those V feet with my legs, big flex on those heels. Hands are still in a diamond shape, like they float, so they're stacked on my shoulder. Extend up, reach, and get me some length. Hold, eight, seven, heels together, six, five, four, three, to replace that down. If you need an neck break, take it side to side. If not, cut and cut. Take it up. You can hold a big flex on the field for me. Take it back down. Final set draws you up. Run the heel. Lengthen out in five. And four. And three. And two. And good. Okay. Let's draw your knees into a bent position. Stack your hands underneath your booty just a little bit. If you need that support, if not, hands up by your side. I like the support. I'm going to float my legs up. I'm going to draw my heels back into frog legs. So my heels are together, heels are flexed. Let's lower it halfway down, or maybe even further, hovering. And draw it halfway up, down in leg lowers. So don't let them tap. This is a pelvic tilt. I feel like you guys are going to play again with it. You know, you should guys should watch this if you have people at home and do like a, you do like some sort of drinking game or something. How many times have been public today? We'll see. I don't know. Five. And four. And three. But that's a point for like, you know, really get that concentration isolating. Two. Last one. Let's hold it down there. Flex those heels. Give a little presses. Should be feeling this in the inner thighs. But my back is neutral, it's nice and soft. Five, four, three, two, raise it up. Stay up there, little press is up there. Five, four, three, two, raise your head up. Hands into a diamond shape, reach and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take those hands down, take your head down. Reach up and hold it again. Let's shift talking. But my legs are definitely working right now. Five, four, three, two. Last set draws you up. Five, four, three, two. Take your hands back behind the head. Let's extend your legs out. Squeeze them together. 
bend, bring it halfway in, and extend out, lengthen. So when you're doing these, pulling in, nice and controlled, concentrate on your movement. What's your belly doing right now? Is that belly push in? Are you doing a strong flex from your hand? Are you lengthening out your legs? Are you feeling it in your inner thigh? Are you curled up as high as you could be? Two steps. In four. And three. And two. And good. Let's draw those feet down. Lift your hips up. Squeeze your inner thighs, outer thighs together. Five, four, three, two. Lower everything back down. All right, floating one leg up, floating the other leg up. Again, can you support that low back if you can? I'll just check my form. Adjusting my knees slightly in front. We're going to do double leg taps. Tapping them down, lift up. Tapping it down, lift up. So again, if you want to make it harder, you don't tap it on just as it hover. It's easier to tap it. But what I want, the reason I'm doing this exercise today is because I want you to do those precise, controlled, concentrated movements. So squeeze your inner thighs together. I feel, so where I'm really feeling this is a lot shaking. And the reason I'm shaking is because Pilates is easy until you do it right, correct? Because my form is correct as much as I can be. So why I'm shaking is that I'm really controlling that low, low ab for three. Point those toes. Squeeze those inner thighs. Two. Take it all the way down on that one count. I want you to bring your toes in closer. Drop your heels down. Lift up onto your point. Drop it down. Lift up onto your point. In four. Up for three. Up for two. Up for one, replace those legs back up to your tabletop. Let's float your head up, floating please. And if you need support, you can take it with control. Let's extend one leg out. Bring it in. If you want to make it harder, those hands are covering for you. Again, are your toes pointed? Concentrate, isolate those movements, feet above the knees. And four. And three. And two, extend one leg out, extend the other leg out, draw everything back in. Let's rest the head. We're going to repeat that. Raise that head up, extend one leg out, extend the other leg out, hold. Five, four, three, two, bend, bring everything in, relax that head, last set, extend it up, lengthen, lengthen, bend. Draw back down, bridge, lift your hips up and hold, we're going to stretch after this in five, and four, and three, and two, and good. Rolling on up like a ball, if you can, grab onto those knees, let's take it back down, lift up, balance challenge, two more, and then we stretch, last one, okay. Send your legs out, reach for those toes for me, or reach for your ankles or your calves. If your back is tight, it's going to be a challenge. Five, four, three, two, come on up nice and tall. Facing it uh, so that you can see me wherever that needs to be. We're going to stack those knees, or we finish today with mermaid. Arms out to the side. Let's take your extension over. Drop that hand down. Let your gaze follow that. You can always be cross leg. Reach over and hold. Five, four, three, two. Extend further over. So reach over to the side. Five, four, three, two. Take it up. Push yourself up. We're going to repeat that one more time. So. We'll do, it. we'll do a total of three. That's pretty standard for mermaid. Take it over in a mat class that is. Reach and pull, gaze is towards the hand. Try to get that side lengthen out. Then spinal extension. So slight twist. Open that up. Push yourself up. Last set, reach over. Round down. Reach and hold. 
Last rotation. Line up into center. Let's reverse your self. Again, yeah, you can always be crisscross, apple, thumb, other side, or stacked, or staggered. I always like staggered for my hip. Reach over, and face follows on hand, left hand on the left. Rotation over. Open it up. Push yourself up. Reach over, lengthen, 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 that's fine. Keeping it down. Rotate it. Open it. Extend up. Last side. Really reach, 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 reach. Down, down. Over. Fine. Stretch forward. Hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, let's take the hip flexor stretches and then we'll go back to your breath work and then we'll wrap it up for today. So, hip flexor stretch, you can be standing or you can be on your knees. I'm going to be on my knees today. You can do standard ease lunge. Um, ease lunge is uh, named after these gentry. She was one of those like, original uh, protégés. First of all, eight, seven, six. She talks about she was like 93 or something. I'll still look that up. Four, three, two, extended back, left side heel, hamstrings. One more time, mark it up. Drop that hip down. Five, four, three, two, take it back, left side heel, and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch sides. Other side, knee lifts. Now known as one and one, right? One. Take it back. Flex the heel. Rock it forward. Take it back. Okay, I'm going to take it all the way down the mat if you were standing. And I want you to extend your hands forward, drop your hips down towards the mat, and lift your chest up. I just want to get a little bit of hip flexor stretch. Four, two, three, five, four, three, two. And we're going to push back into a shell pose. So fingertips are out. And I want you to round in and up with your spine. Draw those hands into your side. Round it into a little baby shell. Push your legs, then straight halfway up, extend out. Down on my fingertips. Some of you guys might be all the way here, or some of you guys might be here. That's cool, and that's fine. Just listen to your body. And four, and three, and two, and soften the knee. Stack that spine. One, very, very, very And so you are all. Okay, standing. Let's do some stretching with your neck and then we'll be done for the day. Take your inhale breath in. Lengthen up. Release that down. One more time. Inhale. Lungs grow up, right? Relax it down. Let's take your gaze over to one shoulder. Chin to chest. Over to the other shoulder. Lastly, let's just do some neck circles. So take it down, back to the side, chin to chest, two in each direction, back, and reverse that. Over, back, over, down, over, chin to chest. Let's take shoulders to those ears. I can't say this. Shoulders to your ears, relax it down. Shoulders to your ears, relax it down. Shoulders back, and then shoulders forward. Uh, that is going to do it for today, but I did want to share with you guys, um, I brought my books in today, or one of them, uh, my, my mat book. And this was my instructor. I'm going to come super close so you guys can see her. So she's in the book. 
like she's in the book like that's like she's in the balanced body book like that's how much of like pardon my french but a bad you know what she is um so that's what i learned from she was she's really tough but she knows her stuff so i just thought i'd share that look how sad it is it's all like tattered but hopefully you guys learned a little bit today and um again concentrating on those movements when you're in class especially when we return and we will uh but thank you guys for showing up today Again, watch the schedule. We're going to be adding on. Tomorrow, I have a class that's at 12. Uh, this will be D. We haven't uh, decided yet, so feel free to text in uh, and respond to this video if you see it and what you would like to see. And we've also added on an upper-level class that we'll do uh, in the evening. And that, uh, that will be my skill. So thank you so much. Enjoy this beautiful weather today. And take care of yourself, as always, please, as much as you can. We look forward to having you guys back more than uh, I could ever Anyway, so. Yeah, awesome class, Lynn. That has to be my favorite shirt. Um, hey, Lynn, if you could hang out for a second, we have a question in from Sally. I'm going to turn okay. our Go I'm going to I'm going to turn our recording off and our live feed off. Uh, great class, everybody. Have a wonderful day.